Hey, Riverside, we're live. We're hey, live, we're live here right on uh, Magnolia Avenue. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Corner of Larchwood and Magnolia. We're in front of the original OG Mellow Manor. Yes, Mellow this Manor. is the original Mellow Manor. So right let's there. first off, let's say hi, Spike. Yo. I bet you remember this place. And if you're an OG resident from okay. Riverside, you know this place. It's, uh, yeah. And the reason we're in front of the original Mellow wow. Manor is we have some really, really big Spike and Mike news for yeah, you. Buddy. All right. So you're hearing it here first on Hey Riverside, live on Facebook. If you're watching right now, you're the first to know this publicly. First one. Okay? So guess what? I've got the rights to, I got told by Kat, our good friend, who me and him were in a documentary called The Animation Outlaws, that we get to do a double bill this year for the Spike and Mike Sick and Twisted Festival Animation here at the Fox Theater, downtown Riverside, California, on May 22nd. That means you get two shows for the price of one. Yeah. And this is going to be the very first big screening of the Fox, well, of the Animation Outlaws at the Fox Theater. Wow. And guess what? Me and Ralph are in it. David Silverman's in it. Seth Green's in it. Bob Storano's in, in it. Bob's yeah. in there. Oh, and, yeah. And no, no, this is really a special thing because the documentary is really, there's a, it's a, a huge part of it is about Riverside because Spike and Mike started it in Riverside. It's a beautiful look at our town and what we've contributed to uh, the art in the world, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Art and innovation. Well, you know, this, the movie's just been in festivals so far. This will be the first public screening yes. in the theater, and we get to do it at the Fox. And... It's going to be amazing. So get this. You're going to get there. You're going to get to see the Animation Outlaws. Then you're going to get to see the best of the Spike and Mike Sick and Twisted. And also yeah. an, another bonus. We're going to have a Q&A yeah. with our good friend Kat and Spike. And there's going to be a great day. And then on a bonus, everybody. I'm in the works for something really big. So we can also say this here. We're trying to make it Spike and Mike's Day in yes. Riverside. Yes. And have a proclamation made from the city yes. to make it Spike and Mike's Spike Day. And Mike for Day. their Spike historical Mike significance Day. to the community. And not just to Riverside, but this entire planet. They've yeah. done so much for animators, creators, and people in the entertainment section of this planet. That they're... they're this place is started here. This is like when you hear about those garages where someone started this is like, Disney's like Google garage, right? or Walt Disney. Yeah, it's even better than Walt Disney's because it started here in Riverside. We're so proud to have this be another big part of a Riverside tradition to bring back it's Spike great. and Mike in the history. And once again, if you partied here, you better tell us in the comments. We know that you won't remember much, though. So, now here's the thing. We've been reading the reviews in a lot of a lot of the film blogs, a yeah, lot of really film good. websites. From, uh, they were just at Slamdance at Sundance. And yep. they, some of the comments from, some, some, from the reviews say that Spike and Mike have, have been as important to animation and bringing animators to people, to the people in the public, yeah. as Walt Disney was in his era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. So, if you don't know the Spike and Mike story, you got to check this out. If you if you've been a part of it, you want to see it too, because you might be in the movie. There's a lot of shots of yeah. old audiences and stuff. Yes. And, Spike uh, and Mike gave people careers. In yeah, absolutely well, yeah. animation as we know it. If you if you enjoy Adult Swim, well, Adult Swim wouldn't be possible yes. without their contribution in supporting young animators going back to the late 1970s. Yeah, and if you look right behind us, well, you can't see it there, but right behind us is where it all began at the Landis Auditorium, right. where they had the original right. festival of animation. Not be, this is before Spike and Mike Sick and, Twi uh, Sick and Twisted. Yeah, yes, this, this is the, this yeah. is just animation. animation. Animation, yes, but then they moved it over to the Fox for the Spike and Mike Sick and Twisted, and that's where I remember seeing it first. I know you right. guys are a little bit older, so well, they got to see it. Generational, yeah, right. Oh, it yeah. spans generations. You went with your dad. Yep, I went with right? my dad, and it was beautiful when I got to host the last two, looking out in that theater and seeing a lot of parents bringing their kids yeah. to the show. It is surreal, you know. And hey, don't bring your kids. Come on, this is Spike and Mike Sick and Twisted. So seriously, you don't want to miss it. It's Friday, May twenty second, at the Fox Performing Arts Center. Tickets T right now at LiveNation.com. LiveNation.com. Uh, Ticketmaster, and of course RiversideLive.com. Or you can just go down to the box office. They're only guess what? Fourteen bucks. Fourteen bucks. Yes. We and really, this is like I say, it's sort of like a premiere, public premiere it, of Animation Outlaws. So the big news once again. This is the Animation Outlaws. They're going to be showing at. The the Fox Theater. You don't want to miss it. It is an amazing documentary. I've seen it twice. You've seen it once. You've seen it once. you got to come down and check it out with us on May 22nd, 2020. So I would love to keep this whole show just talking about Spike and Mike's. Of course you Because, would. look, we're, once again, Mellow Manor. Hey, Spike, that's Mellow Manor. So we have so much more going on, though. Uh, now, uh, coming up Tuesday, 
which is February 11th. We have the Riverside Open Mic Music Series returning for one night only to yep. MTL. Yep, this is another one of the limited engagements right now, but they, they've been having so much fun with me there that I like doing them. So if you want them to continue on and on, then just keep showing up to the shows. But guess what? You have two reasons to show up this week, because not only do you get the open mic and a lot of great local musicians, you get a special spotlight guest at 7 p.m. through 8, and it's the Dangers featuring the one, the only, Mr. Ralph Torres. Well, yes, I am part of the Dangers. It's actually Chris, Chris, Chris Leroy's band. I know it's his and band, but really I just had to say, big Mr. legacy Torres, group. We're right having here. a lot of fun. We, we were working on our uh, on the new record, and uh, Chris said, "Ask Patrick if we can do a set because we haven't been out playing live since like Pappy and Harriet's last." You're summer, awesome, Chris. So. Anyways, we're gonna do uh, a short set. Um, we they're gonna play like four hours. We have at least two songs from uh, the new record. Nice. We're gonna break out. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. You know, we're working things out. It's sort of a, a different kind of semi-acoustic thing. So it's gonna be a great night. Once on again, down. get there early so you can uh, sign up and then catch the show. And of course, like I always like to do, we like to promote all the open mics. So. If you want to play two open mics, you can always go check out Back to the Grind on the same night because they've been running one way longer than me, and we like to show the love to the people who've been doing it longer than us. So Absolutely. There you go. Absolutely. Now, speaking of open mics and music-oriented stuff, um, I'm really happy to announce that we're getting started on some new Hey Riverside social media accounts that are dedicated to live music in Riverside. And it's going to be neat. We've already started on Instagram. Um, just just uh, do the search for uh, Hey Riverside Live Music. Uh, we're on Twitter. Uh, Facebook page should be up in the next couple days. But really, we oh, have yeah. so much stuff that are in our, our roundup and um, weekday shows that doesn't get on social media. And I'm collecting all that information, and we thought, wow, I should get this out to you guys because we have so many local bands and bands from around the region. And then we're going to be re-showing some old ones, huh? Or no, we're going to do well, all no, new ones. Actually, this it's is, all new, I guess. These are, these are just actually the the uh, the gigs that are coming up, right? All, okay, yeah. All, a lot of the stuff, you know, like the events you see on Hay Riverside, we have an easy 15 to 20 music events every week that you don't see on our Facebook account and on our Twitter oh, account. I see you just see them. You just see them in our Roundup show. And uh, so this is going to be a place, you know, where you can uh, get the Instagram feed and you'll get all the live music that's happening in Riverside every week. If we know about it, it will be on there. And uh, it just really, you know, awesome. there's like I said, there's so many great bands happening here. Um, and we don't have the guide like we used to. Vanessa's not able to spend the time she used to spend on local music eight or ten years ago. So we're trying to sort of fill in that, help you guys get the gigs out there in front of people because audiences, you know, you got to round them up. So it's going to be fun stuff. Check them out. Um, all of them have contact information if you want to talk to us. Uh, tell us about your things coming up. If you have a record coming out or so forth. It's going to be awesome. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. You know, we're having a good time here. Again, we're getting mellow because we're outside of Mellow Manor. But Tim Brown hasn't talked yet. I haven't heard his soothing voice He's yet. He's very, very, He's very mellow. very quiet back there. He's, He's mellow, exceptionally too. mellow. I'm trying to keep from falling down. <laughs> okay. Okay, what else is going on? Did we finish everything on that Let's one? Let's see. I think we oh, have... Uh... We also have uh, another special one that you get announced here uh, on February 25th at MTL on Tuesday night will be the first of the Riverside Open Mic Comedy, Comedy. Series. Yes. I've been having a lot of comedians hitting me up for the last few weeks right. and months going, hey, we want to do a show. And I'm like... Give me some time. So here you guys go. If you want to have this happen and keep continuing, you better show up to the show. I told them to make it a two-drink uh, minimum, like a normal comedy place, because, right. hey, some of you guys don't drink like me. I only drink soda, so i got to have you drink something. Something. But once again, that's going to be February 25th at the MTL Riverside Open Mic Comedy Series. It's hard for me to get used to, because I'm so used to the Riverside Open Mic Music Series, which, once again, February 11th with the Dangers as a spotlight guest. So now he has, like, two two things going. Like oh, yeah. Riverside, and it's Riverside, and it's... You know, we're building it from the ground up here, and uh, then I also forgot about the Keep It lo uh, Loud Fest. Well, you I, have that I going on. I, this guy, man, he's I, got all these irons in the fire. Out. Yeah, I got to. I, 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 do you want to talk about? It? No, you I, know what? You're, you're I, I love this guy. I want to hear his voice say it because it's going to sound it. so much better. This is going to be a brutal metal concert down at the Riverside Municipal Auditorium on April loud. 3rd, 2020. This show is going to be sick, brutal, and ready for a big mosh pit and crazy times. You better get your beer going. You better have a good time. Eat a lot. Get crazy. Crazy and 
six killer bands. Keep and guess loud. what? We're going to announce two bands that were on the list that have now replaced other bands. Yeah. Local band, Dianthus, is going to oh, be starting man, the show. You so go. you got to come out wow. and check out Dianthus. Well and a record release show for the one, the only, Sangre. Yes, Ooh. good old Sangre. Really? Yes, man. love Sangre. Uh, no you, kidding. You might know Henry in another band, but we're not going to talk about it here. Okay. Uh, he's in another band from Mexico, but they're outlaws. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, Sangre, Dianthus have been added to the show along with my good friend Boris, who his band is called Lit Tomb. A census. I have known him for 20 years, and I still can't pronounce your band's name properly. I even told him, guess what? I'm going to mess this up because it's Lit Tomb. Crowded mouth. Uh, 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 census. There it is. Oh, yeah. He has a crowded mouth. Keep it loud. There, it's going to be a badass show right there. They're going to they're gonna kill. Unit Dad Trauma all the way from Mexico is showing up. You do not want to miss them. And rounding out the show is Blood Vomit Ritual. And oh, man. Death oh, is yeah. eternal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Keep it loud. And death is Eternal's OG buds in my old band. We played a ton of shows, so I'm glad to have all six of them on the show. 7 p.m. Tickets available, of course, at Riverside Live. Live Nation, Ticketmaster. It's only 15 bucks, so go pick up those tickets now before it's too late. Tim, this is a real local metal show, so don't miss it. Wow. Tim, you have anything coming up on KCAL? Uh, not yet, but it's kind of in the future. Don't okay. have, um, I'll be on Saturday, uh, 2 to 7, and uh, there's more coming down the road. Okay, very good. And then also, I don't remember the exact date, but I want to give a special shout out to the Foster Army uh, Animal uh, Thrift Shop because they're doing a birthday for Daisy. If you need Daisy. a special three-legged dog, her birthday's coming up at the middle of this month, and she needs a forever home. So please go think Daisy. about going and adopt her. She really needs what a home. A and girl. We love Daisy. I love Daisy. If I could take her, I'd take her home right now. But I think Gizmo would. Gizmo might yeah, not would, be. Uh, yeah, yeah, he would just be a butt. All but, right, uh, you guys. Um, weekend Roundup coming up on Friday. Give you everything going on. Check out the live music channels. Yeah. Spike and Mike. Sick and Twisted Anim Festival of Animation with the Animation Outlaws uh, documentary. documentary. Yeah. And a Q&A with the it. director. It's going to yeah, be awesome. It's, it, 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 huge. Hey. Everybody, start sending to your uh, council members, to the mayor, to everybody, that you want it to be Spike, Spike and, and Mike's Mike day, day here yeah. on May 22nd to celebrate Spike and Mike and all their contribution to the history of Riverside and throughout this entire plant. We love you. Start, from Hey Riverside, we'll see you. Well, last words are coming from Tim. Spike and Mike Day 2020. Hey, Yay. yes, remember, Spike and Mike's Day. 2020. Remember the vote and remember to come see the show. Spike and Mike 2020, everybody. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. See you on Friday. Yeah. Uh.